Hello, I'm Susan Bell. And I'm Jonathan Jones. And we're Butterfly Technology. We're here today to ask for your expertise and £75,000 for 10% equity in our unique tube dispensing technology, Squeeze With Ease. I'm sure you're all familiar with the age-old problem of trying to get the last drop out of a tube. Some people use gizmos, or if you're like me, you cut your tubes open. As a nurse, I was concerned about the amount of product that was being thrown away by my patients. It's estimated that 10% is left in every standard tube. This amounts to millions of pounds being wasted by the NHS and by extension to every end user who uses a product in a plastic tube. Squeeze With Ease <coughs> is a unique patented device that's inserted into the tube during the manufacturing process. You use the tube in the same way, take the cap off, and then you squeeze or manipulate the outside of the tube and the contents begin to flow out and the device moves down the tube. But as it moves down the tube, it cleans out every last drop of the contents from it, not leaving any in there whatsoever. Now, on first sight, it might look like we're adding to overall packaging. However, if we take a product, say something like a toothpaste that you might buy once a month, over the course of a year, you'll buy 12 of them. But with Squeeze With Ease, you would only need to buy, say, 10, saving you the 15%. Also, there is a considerable cost benefit to the end user. Now, here we've taken a very extreme example to make the point. This is a, an example of a beauty cream that retails at £75. You could be throwing up to a staggering £11.25 away of the product within the tube at the end of it, unless, of course, you use Squeeze With Ease. With over six billion tubes being manufactured in Europe alone, this opportunity is enormous. We're looking to license this opportunity across the market sectors, and we would really value the Dragon's help and expertise. We welcome any questions now. Thank you. Business partners Susan Bell and Jonathan Jones are asking the Dragons for £75,000 to build a full working prototype of their invention. In return, they're willing to give away a 10% share of their business. Peter Jones has an immediate concern. Susan, Jonathan, hi, I'm Peter. Hi, Peter. My, my biggest question is about the adoption of your product. It's not going to be really a choice for a manufacturer to want to introduce because it will slow the volume of sales if there is this issue out there. Well, I think it would be very short-sighted of manufacturers not to realise the value this would give to their offering. Um, we've been told that, for example, in the cosmetics in industry, they have to innovate every th three years, and they're constantly making adjustments to the packaging. And we already have evidence that the beauty industry is extremely interested. Who have you shown it to? We have shown it to a number of um, ethical brands, um, some so anybody who's not ethical you don't deal with? No. We wanted to have the eco-credentials and we wanted to put it in... Are they the volume ones? No, but they're the high value ones. The idea would be, rather than going immediately to mass market, to get the product on the shelf and to have a trickle-down effect. I do believe that this will revolutionise the tube industry. Ambitious claims from the hopeful entrepreneur. But Duncan Bannertine looks unconvinced. So what I can't understand is this. Look, if I really want to save money, if money's a bit tight, why don't I just say to myself, well, instead of spending an extra five or ten pence every time I buy a tube, why don't I get one of those keys and use one of those keys? Well, that is an option, but you'd have to then put it on every tube you have in your household. Yeah, and but if the, idea, if the idea is to save myself a bit of money, the best way for me to save any money is to use that key. But you, you can't beat I that. May, for, for if I may, you can't use that key on a plastic tube like that. It just no. it doesn't wind it down. Pass me that tube with the key on it. That one. Yeah. So, so, right. That's so an aluminium tube. The other thing, um, Duncan, is why should you have to take a pair of scissors? Why should you have to take a gizmo? Why shouldn't your tube empty as it should be designed to? You don't go into Pizza Express and expect to buy a pizza and leave 10% behind. You expect it to perform as it says on the tin. It's a persuasive argument from Susan and one that has caught the dragon's attention. Now, 
Theopophytis wants to drill down into their business plan. Susan, Jonathan, now, help me along. I I'm trying to work out whether this is a viable product to invest in. OK. I've, we do have a manufacturer, tube manufacturers, taking it to three of their customers. Right. Who are very well-known brands, right. and they've expressed, expressed a very strong interest in it. And they now want us to move from a prototype unit that you see there to a proper production tool, which is where we need the investment. And they have said on that basis, you know, we have now a proposal on the table with this, our first licensee. And the first year, your licence fee alone yeah. is going to generate how much gross? £160,000. That's a gross fee. Turnover, okay. yeah. yeah. Um, so that's £85,000 profit. Healthy forecasts, perhaps, but Deborah Meaden seems to have something on her mind. Susan, you must be the same Susan that was very widely reported this time last year. A nurse... It was, I, certainly, I've got clippings from The Guardian. Yes. That's you, isn't it? It is. You've got loads of coverage, and at the time, I have to tell you, my team picked it up and said, if she hasn't got backing, we ought to speak to her. So why didn't I contact you? This tube means that another widget has to be produced to put in, be put inside the tube. The tube has to be longer. Not we're using necessarily. more plastic. Well, it must be. It's either full of product or it's full of plastic. So we're using more pr plastic, and in the packaging, we're producing a new plastic widget. So how do you think that sounds as an environmental solution? Well, uh, can I answer that, Deborah? Well, it, it was a question, Susan. OK. It doesn't, on the face of it, sound good, but the carbon footprint of the wasted product that you don't use is probably likely to be greater than the net... No, no, you see, you're packaging. using words like likely to be. I have looked at... So you're sounding fluffy, Susan. It's a shame you did that. The carbon footprint of a separate manufacturing process is far greater than producing the same product in greater numbers. Now, that has got to be... Listen, I don't have the facts, but that's logically got to be correct. You cannot sell that on the basis of the environment and being an ethical product. You can't do it. But it was a learning curve. I mean, I started with no, a problem. Susan, you're being told something, not just by me, but by the fact it's taken a year and it still hasn't taken off. And for that reason, I'm out. Thank you. It's a huge setback for the duo, and James Kahn is ready to break his silence. Let me tell you where I am, because I think I've kind of got the pitch now. I think that for somebody who has had the level of publicity that you have had, if this idea was genuinely as exciting as you are presenting, somebody out there of the thousands, tens of thousands of people, would have approached you with a proposition. They haven't. And for that reason, I'm out. Thank you. Susan, Jonathan, let me tell you where I am on this, because there's no point going on about this. You've had huge publicity, from what I understand, and you're still struggling to get this away. There's a reason. I think it's a matter of persistence, and that's why I'm still pursuing it. And I think it will be on a shelf near you soon. I really do. This is not viable. Good luck. Thank you. But I'm out. Three dragons out, and the duo's investment hopes are looking shaky. Duncan Bannatyne is next to show his hand. I honestly think that this product just doesn't have a market, because I think if the consumer wants to be environmentally friendly, if the consumer wants to save money, he will find some way of getting his product out of the tube. But millions of people in this credit crunch time want to get... Everything out of Susan, the tube and Susan, your research. Susan, millions of people know about your product because they read about it in newspapers and no one has placed an order. No one. And so for that reason, I'm not going to invest, and so I'm out. Thank you. I think that this has gone too far because there's clearly something that you've got as a talent. I'm talking particularly to you, Susan. You are a very dynamic, strong individual. The unfortunate things about those qualities are... You don't listen, and you always believe that you're right. This is not a product that should actually get into the market, and that's why I'm going to say I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. All right. 
it's a frustrating end for Susan and Jonathan. They leave the den with nothing.